Hey everyone, Arsenal Alex here. Hope everyone is good, enjoying their Tuesday, whatever you're doing. Thanks for tuning in. I need you to do three things, or at least two of them. Three of them are nice. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it. It's free. Hit the like button. Helps the algorithm, helps the video get out to the YouTube community. And there's a thing called thanks as a heart. If you want to donate to the channel, just click it, right? And then you just put some amount, anything from two quid up to 50, write a message, and that'll be absolutely amazing. So it's transfer, transfer, crazy season. And it's all about William Saliba at Arsenal. So let's get into it. But for me, yeah, the rumours are PSG won him because he is stalling over a new contract. He is not happy or Arsenal have offered, contrary to reports, and PSG are hovering. And I will go through an article. There's a few articles about it. And before I get into it, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? They need a centre-back. They desperately need a centre-back. He's young. He's had an amazing season at Arsenal. He's been brilliant until he got injured. And a lot of people will say, right, that Saliba's injury cost Arsenal the title. They cost Arsenal the title. Now, I have to say, if Saliba had stayed fit the whole season, yeah, I think we would have won the league. He was that good, which is, for me, because he's on 40 grand a week, which is still amazing. And apparently, Arsenal have offered 120, and he's holding out for more. So let me go through the article. Make sure you hit that like button. So... <clears throat> William Saliba, according to Sport Skida. Let me just zoom this out. Um, he's reportedly asking for a huge pay rise from Arsenal amid interest from PSG. The French centre back has had a had a superb debut in England, as I just said, helping the Gowers mount a serious challenge for the title, of course, which we bowled. His back injury in March was a turning point with Arsenal winning just five of their remaining 10 league games and letting Man City, of course, overtake us and win the league. Five out of 10. That's a massive blow. Massive blow. Saliba's performances have nudged Arsenal in the direction of proposing a new deal to him. They have reportedly tabled an offer of 120 grand a week in wages, which is significantly lower than a player's demand. Saliba is set to enter the last 12 months of his deal with the Emirates, and a contract that sees in pocket 40k a week, basic. According to CBS Sports journalist Ben Jacobs, Saliba wants a notable pay rise. Um, so, yeah, I mean, before I get more into it, why wouldn't he? I mean, it's not my money. I couldn't care less what they pay him. But we need him to stay. And PSG will pay 70 million. I can believe that. And why wouldn't he? He's from France. Um, that's closer to all his friends and family. So why wouldn't he? So we need to sort this out. Um, apparently, he obviously wants to be well compensated and quite rightly so, given the season he's just had. It was always going to take a bit more time. There's bound to be suitors interest in Saliba of the current contractual situation. So, yeah. Um, would you sell him to PSG, guys? Would you? Would you sell Saliba to PSG? Because... Nah, for me, no way. Give him what he wants. Obviously, not 300 grand a week. Give him what he wants because he's so important to the team. Um, so, the Parisians could do some fresh legs in central defence where they currently have Marquinhos and Kim Pembe as their first team options. Looks like Ramos is leaving this summer um, if he doesn't agree to a significant pay cut um, because. Defensive midfielder Daniel Danilo Pereira has had to play as a centre back several times this season for PSG. Um, Arteta has said, um, "Well, this is back in Newcastle. We want to keep our best talents." This is um, after the two 0 win, especially the players that deserve some recognition. I think he has been incredible since he has come back from his loan period, and we want to reward him. That's for sure. We'll find the right moment to that. The communication relationship is super. It's about time, I think, nothing else. Well, Mikel, that was back on May the 7th. It's now June the 6th, so that's like a month ago. So why hasn't he been done? Saliba 22 was signed from St Etienne in 2019 for 27 million, where obviously he spent three seasons on loan. 
Um, all 33 of his uh, appearances have come this season. So, yeah, that is the latest on William Saliba. And do I think he's going to PSG? I'm, I'm not sure because if he really wanted to stay, he would sign a new contract because he's going to hold all the power come January next year. He will hold all the power, okay? because he can then talk to PSG. So why wouldn't he want to run his contract down? So I think if Arsenal do not sort this out now, right, we're going to have problems. And he's one of the best young centre-backs on the planet. Sign him up. Give him the right amount that he deserves, because he was integral in our title push. And then that injury was catastrophic, 100%, because... He, he just oozes class on the ball and um, great footwork, uh, great defensive awareness, great positional sense, great passing. And uh, him and Gabrielle, they just built an absolutely excellent partnership. So for me, sign him. Don't let PSG take him, right? Sign him up to that long contract so we protect the asset. And yeah, leave that in comments below. Would you, would you keep Saliba? And give him what he wants or deserves, or would you let him go for 70 million, which has been reported by, um, yeah, mo multiple sources that well, PSG won him and <laughs> they need a center back, but we will, we're going to need a lot of players, so I want him to stay. So, yeah, um, smash the like button, guys, and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'm going to be doing more of these videos, transfer business. Obviously, if you haven't already seen it. Done a Moise Kai Sado one because he's agreed personal terms, apparently, but obviously he's not in the shirt. Um, obviously, the season's over, just the Champions League to look forward to on Saturday, which will we get to a final? Who knows? But we are in the Champions League. And how do you guys feel about that? Do you think we'll go far? And I'd love to know, you know what? Put in the comments, who do you think we will sign? Do you think Saliba will stay or PSG will take him? Or, and also tell me about Declan Rice, Moise Caicedos and any other players link that you think Arsenal will sign? Because you know what? We can be linked to absolutely everybody and sign not the right players that are required. And this can happen with Arsenal. We were frustrated last season, especially in January. We did not get the right players that we needed to win that bloody title, you know? But, yeah, William Saliba, is he staying or is he going? Only time will tell. And, yeah, but it's reported. PSG won him. And if we don't give him that right contract, well, he's gone. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you a lot soon.